It's a sweetener that can be found in thousands of products, but the World Health Organization is set to issue a warning that might have you rethinking how much aspartame you consume. Agency is considering whether to call the popular sweetener a possible carcinogen. And with this news circulating, a lot of questions come with it. Hank Winchester, our consumer investigator, has been looking into it. The debate over the artificial sweetener aspartame is now making international news as the World Health Organization's cancer research arm is set to release a new report in July. And sources have revealed they expect to declare the sweetener as a possible carcinogenic to humans. Aspartame has been used around the world for years, since 1981. It is a popular tabletop sweetener. It's used in diet drinks, chewing gum, breakfast cereals, even cough drops. A spokesperson for the International Sweetener Association saying, IARC is not a food safety body. Aspartame is one of the most thoroughly researched ingredients in history, with over 90 food safety agencies across the globe declaring it is safe, including the European Food Safety Authority, which conducted the most comprehensive safety evaluation of aspartame to date. We're told the study does not take into account how much one would need to consume in order for it to be considered a big danger. The IARC has come under fire in the past as it previously put working overnight, consuming red meat, and using mobile phones as also possibly causing cancer. Back out here live again, the product found in many sweeteners like Equal, Diet Coke. Again, the full report not expected to come out until July. And as you can imagine, once it does, there's going to be a lot of debate and controversy. We're here tonight in Corktown. Hank Winchester, help me, Hank. Local four. So right, because so many products. All right, Hank.